Hamish and Andy. Hamish and Andy driving you home from the change rooms at the Hockey Centre at Homebush, in the big park in Sydney. Well, this was our hiding spot, Amber, yeah. for uh, the whole show today. And it saddens me that we are now actually more accurately in the toilets at Homebush. We are in the showering centre, Ham. Well, I'm basically a foot from the urinal. Yeah, you're at the loo end. <laughs> And that's no place for the world's greatest cartoon. But it just shows that, like some bacteria, Fred can live anywhere. Mm, he yeah. doesn't care if he's in the toilet. Someone He'll argue, survive. Someone would argue he's best place there. Anyway. No, he's the toilet duck of toilets. Hey, I've got a surprise for you that, um, that I found here in the shower. Oh. I'm not eating dead skin. Don't make me get tinny or something. Well, look at this. It's a towel. Yeah. What do... Uh, People do Andy, in locker rooms. You can't, you're not allowed to. Mum said not to. On the pants off Friday, I'm twirling it you up. You can't twirl a towel up and whip at me. What about the That's dangers? what happens in change rooms. Bit Times of... have changed. It's not the 60s anymore. It's... Andy, don't do that. <laughs> there is, Andy. Ooh. There are, there are, there's room a for real it. risk. You're not meant to do it anymore. It's a bad example for kids. Can't it hit family jewels and give you dual tumours? Yes, I thought you might say that. Um, so earlier today, while we were bored hiding, I got someone to go out ham and purchase this contraption. It's a jock, stra- jock strap. Jock strap with a box on it. And I've also got marshmallows stuck to it. I stuck marshmallows as a bit of a target for me. <laughs> so uh, I so can you've see... stuck marshmallows to a box. Yeah. As your own sick experiment, <laughs> so deep down you could know that you hit one of my plums. Yes. Oh, I didn't want the actual plums to be hit. I know you started seeing your girl. I'm Thank sure you. it's the honeymoon period. Well, I'm sure you... things are going well, but um, <laughs> I mean, we haven't got that far yet. But <laughs> still appreciate that. You won't get that far for years if I get a good contact, <laughs> or, or or just in general. <laughs> All right. So let me just put this on. Hey, it's for your own protection, but but please, just I mean that people have died from this. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. But uh, <laughs> I really don't want you to do it. But um, it's, as long as you've got the protection on, um, it's a little bit of fun for me and a little bit of fun for the viewers at home. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you belong on the, on the Pascal float at Mardi Gras. <laughs> All right, guys. Dollar fifty a nibble. Who wants to? <laughs> how many marshmallows have you got on this box? <laughs> well, I think. Hang on, Andrew. Just hold your fire for a second. Okay, I'll give you the first sell, but you can pull out any time. This is like when you go to cattle shows in the country. They do trick stock whipping and they <laughs> whip cigarettes out of people's mouths. Except you're going for my groin and my exposed thighs, and you're not good at it. All right, Jack, put the tape in. You gotta fight for your right. Listen to Fred Bassett on the radio. Why do my thighs always pop it in Fred Bassett? <laughs> Today's Bassett yeah. is a two-panel Bassett. Okay, haven't gone yet. In the first panel, yeah. we see Fred. But... Ha- oh! <laughs> Very close. Very close. No contact has been made. And it's like that scene out of Australia, the movie, where the little kid is against the cliff edge and the herd's running at him. Hamish is against I'm the urinal. to the urinal. <laughs> One step backwards, I'm in the urinal. I've got Andy whipping me with a towel in front of me. Fred, something's a bit amiss because... Oh! 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 I hit myself with a marshmallow! It's got me in the eye! Andy has whipped off a marshmallow and got himself in the eye! Quickly, while he's down! Something's amiss. Fred is is standing there and Fred looks massive. He's standing above the church... Fred is going. <laughs> this is terrific, everyone. Enjoy Bassett. Fred is going. Fred's going. The church could use a new roof, right? So Fred's enormous, bearing him up. It looks like he's towering above the church. And as a reader, you're going, what the heck is going on here? Why is Fred so big and he's towering above the church saying it could use a new roof? Oh, that's my legs. Ah. <laughs> You just just is, suffer quietly over there. Is there a marshmallow where my eye should be? No, it's a gorgeous eyeball. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't see out of it. You really got me good. Anyway, so you're going, why is Fred going to the church could use a new roof? How is Fred so massive? What's going on? Have the makers of Fred Bassett lost their mind? He's a giant. In the second panel, the punchline cell, 
The, the shot has moved wider. Fred's owners are going, come on, Fred. Oh! Ow! That's... <laughs> Fred's owner's going, come on, Fred. We now see that Fred was standing in front, and we can tell this from a banner, in front of a miniature village. It was a miniature... Ah! It was a miniature village! And that's why he was above the church. Platinum Platinum that is an amazing shot from you. <laughs> Jeez. And that's the first time Bassett's ever backfired. You've got a marshmallow in the eye, you're, you're legally blind for the weekend. <laughs> that completes Irish and Andy. Suck it! I wish I've someone... never been so happy in my whole life. I wish someone from the hockey centre walks in now to see you in a marshmallow clad box while we are. <laughs> while we're both sitting in our undies and I'm holding my eye. What are you guys doing in here? Nothing. <laughs> we booked the centre till six. Get out. This is Hamish and Andy.